Fayetteville, Arkansas, a medium-sized city in the Ozark Mountains, home of the University of Arkansas, cultural amenities, a vibrant farmer's market, and nominated by many publications as one of the 10 best places to live or to retire or to raise a family. But until recent years, it has not been considered a bicycle-friendly town, primarily because of challenging topography. That translates into a lot of hills and difficult pedaling. It all started to change back around 2000, when a group of citizens with a vision started to work with the city to create what is called the FAT Plan, the Fayetteville Alternative Transportation and Trails Master Plan. It was passed by the City Council in 2003 and work on the trail system began after that. The FAT plan is, is an trans, alternative transportation plan. So the goal has been connecting up people where they live, where they work, major destinations, the University, Dixon Street, the mall, and really connecting those with a, a safe alternative to riding your bike on the road. Um, and then also, by following the creeks, we've been able to have a fairly level location. For Fayetteville, it's, it's pretty flat. <laughs> Trails constructed so far allow riders to go from Martin Luther King Boulevard, formerly called 6th Street, in the south of Fayetteville, all the way up to Lake Fayetteville on the north end of town. There are now 37 and a half miles of paved and natural trails in what will eventually be over a 100-mile system, connecting all parts of the city of Fayetteville and connecting with trails created by other cities to form a Northwest Arkansas trail system called the Razorback Regional Greenway. That will extend from Fayetteville all the way to Bella Vista. And a sort of bicycle culture has sprung up as the city has become more bicycle friendly. It has also had an economic impact and become an important part of Fayetteville's high quality of life. We've had two new bike shops recently within the last couple of years open up and seem to be doing well. So we're at five bike shops. Uh, designated bike shops and then you have the retailers as well. We specifically picked a location that backs up to the trail um, so we have the bike path running right behind the shop and um, it was a, a pretty big factor in the decision of where to locate the shop picking up on the bike traffic that's up on the you know the north side of Fayetteville. We're here a year and we're going strong and business is better every day. The more and more they expand the bike path system uh, in Fayetteville, uh, the more business we're expecting of people who are making a bicycle a legitimate form of transportation um, and starting to uh, you know, reduce the reliance on an automobile. And the, the apartment complexes, I think, are you know, really feeling a nice benefit for being located. There's several apartment complexes along Skull Creek Trail. There was a study done and, and they, they've shown that they were actually able to increase their rent a little bit if you had a, a, one of the places that was close to the trail oh. and um, then there also had pretty much no vacancy on those, on those particular ones. So. Restaurants in central Fayetteville also benefit from the trails. The new Arcega's Crapery in the old train station building will have its main entrance facing the trails with a second entrance facing the parking lot. When I, I, I came out to this area and I saw the building and the building was amazing and then you had the trail on it which even made it more amazing then had the train, I always viewed my places as uh, community gathering places, places where people could come and talk. And in this location, you had people could get here not only by car, but by bike or by walking. So that was really, it, it sent it over the top to me on you know, the type of place it could be. I mean, we have a substantial percentage of our clientele that are trail travelers, bike, foot, you know, everybody in the world is on the trail for different reasons. Um, so we get older people who are just walking, and we get young people who are on skateboards and bikes, um, and you know, younger people that are pulling their children behind their bike in a little cart. So we, we get all, the full spectrum of trail travelers, but the majority of our business are drive up in their vehicles. <laughs> The vision of the designers of the FAT plan is gradually becoming a reality. And we have about, about 600 people a day is what it averages out to. Some Sundays when it's nice weather in the spring and the fall, we've had as many as 3,000 in one day on a Sunday. And Saturdays have been real close in 2,500, 2,000 a day. So 
you know, it's, it's very significant use and, and people are really enjoying it for recreation and for transportation. It's hard to tell if trail users are using them for transportation as the original concept envisioned it or simply for recreation. But with designated bicycle police and 24-7 lighting on many of the trails, as well as a planned expansion of the system, it has become a part of the fabric of Fayetteville life, which is here to stay.